Hello, and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what is emergency descent, when, and how is it performed. What is an emergency descent? An emergency descent is a maneuver in which an aircraft descends as rapidly as possible to a lower altitude or towards the ground for landing. Normally, an aircraft descends at a much slower rate as compared to an emergency descent. This is for the comfort of the people on board and for smooth movement of air traffic. However, in a few situations, an emergency descent becomes necessary. When is an emergency descent performed? Some of the reasons why an emergency descent may be performed are in case of a loss of cabin pressurization, uncontrollable fire, or any serious situation which cannot be handled in flight. Let's look at the emergency descent maneuver in more detail. Before initiating the emergency descent, in case of cabin depressurization or uncontrollable fire, the crew should don the oxygen masks. Why is this important? Cabin pressurization ensures sufficient oxygen is available, even at higher altitudes. In case of loss of pressurization, the oxygen available inside the aircraft reduces, which can lead to hypoxia. Similarly, smoke or fire inside an aircraft can cause difficulty in breathing, which can affect the decision-making process of the flight crew. So the first step of donning the oxygen masks becomes crucial. How to perform an emergency descent Each aircraft has its own procedure for emergency descent, mentioned in the manufacturer documents. Here, for understanding purposes, we will look at a general emergency descent procedure. The emergency descent procedure is usually a memory item, which means it is to be directly applied from memory when required. On most modern aircraft, the autopilot is programmed for handling the emergency descent and can be used for the descent if it is available. A safe, suitable target altitude should be set as defined for a particular route. This altitude would normally be 10,000 feet. If there is no structural damage, the aircraft can be made to descend at its maximum operational speed. The thrust should be at idle, and speed brakes should be extended. In case of any structural damage, the aircraft should continue flying at the indicated airspeed when the failure occurred. During an emergency descent in most cases, the aircraft would have to turn away from the assigned route. These details would be mentioned in the contingency procedures for a particular route. The ATC must be notified as soon as possible about the descent. The transponder code is set to 7700, and emergency mode is set on the Automatic Dependent Surveillance, ADS, as applicable. This will ensure that the planned emergency descent route is cleared of other air traffic. All exterior lights should be on, and the traffic should be monitored visually and using TCAS. After an emergency descent, when the flight has leveled off at a safe altitude, the flight crew should plan the next course of action, which would most likely be landing at the nearest suitable aerodrome. That's all for my video on the emergency descent. If you liked the video, please share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.